This month we're doing a series on the subject you cannot wake a spouse pretending to be asleep. Amen. When we say pretending to be asleep, it means it's very deliberate. Some people consciously fall asleep. Last week I proposed the hot water therapy. I said precipitate a crisis. When I say precipitate a crisis, I don't mean literally go and take hot water. No. There are many ways of killing a cat. So you study your situation and know what to wake your spouse up. Because she's got to wake up. He's got to wake up. For some people, their marriage is comfortable. They are happy. They are in cloud nine. Meanwhile, their spouses are crying. It's not supposed to be like that. You're having a good time. Everybody knows you're, you're enjoying yourself. But there is home cry. It's not supposed to be like that. Amen. Everybody must enjoy the marriage. So it means that you must make sure that by all standards, both of you are having a good time. And I'd like to, today to talk from Proverbs chapter 8, 3 verse 27. Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due when it is in your power to do so. Amen. I like the word whom it is due because who is due, more due than the person you are living with? The one who takes care of you. The one who cooks your meals. The one who supports you if you are a wife. Where are you supposed to do your good deeds? It is right within the marriage. Somebody outside shouldn't be on salary for no work being done. While somebody is laboring with you, it's not a good thing. If you are here and it is in your power to do good, my brother, my sister, married man, married woman, just do it. Just do it. We have some married people, very big men, whose wives are selling tomatoes in the market. Big man, honorable. Your wife sits on track, very dangerous, at dawn. To go and sell tomatoes. And others are benefiting from your money. It's not a blessing. Amen. We also have some women who have the money. And there's a crisis at home. Your landlord is ejecting you. You know that even in this COVID season, your husband's work has gone down. But you have the money. You are waiting for them to put your things outside. Before you go into your drawer and produce the money. Madam, you haven't done well. Amen. Because we take vows and we promise each other that your wealth belongs to me. Mine belongs to you. It's part of our wedding vows. So remember that the person staying to you, close to you, helping you, is due. Needs that help, support that person. Don't pretend to be asleep. You're not asleep. Amen. In conclusion... I will say always play your role. No matter what the other partner is doing, you play your role. Remember, you are a Christian first. God bless you.